What is up guys, Garrett here, and recently I was linked to an article on Gotaku.com, and in the article it goes over some Marvel for 3 details and shows off some amazing new screenshots, and it gets me a little bit excited. If you want to go ahead and check out the article, I will have it in the description, but I will be going over some of the screenshots in the video. Alright, getting right into it. Okay, first up we have the Model 1887 Shotgun. This is a gun returning from Modern Warfare 2. And they've definitely given this gun a new skin to it, much more modern look to it versus the Modern Warfare 2 version. The Modern Warfare 2 version of the gun had an Old West type feel into it, and I think they're definitely trying to bring this one a little bit more modern looking. Now this sight here, I'm not sure if this is an attachment or if this is the standard sight on the gun. I know that in Modern Warfare 2, you could not have any sights on the gun, period. It was just the default iron sights. And I do notice if you look pretty hard, they do have an engraving at the end of the gun. And it is longer than five letters. I'm not sure if this means that you'll be able to engrave sentences on your gun or whatnot. Because I know in Black Ops, you can just engrave five letters onto your gun. I think it would be really cool if you could engrave a little bit longer. Okay, up next we have the Remington Semi-Auto Sniper System. Which, this gun here is brand new to the series. I don't think it's been in any of the Call of Duty games before. It looks like kind of similar to an M21 in the sense that it's just a semi-auto. I think people will kind of spam it a little bit just to get multiple shots on a target. And I believe that seeing as how it has a silencer on the gun, it leads me to believe that it is not a uh, one shot from the um, waist up. It is a one of those ones where you need to get them in the chest and up shot. So I don't see this gun probably getting that much action. Generally people that snipe want to get a gun that is a one shot kill. Okay, here we have another new gun to the series, one I haven't seen in any other Call of Duty game before. We have the MP412, and this here is a Russian-made pistol. Um, it does look pretty badass, looks a little bulky, and it has a short barrel, but uh, I don't really, I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. And the thing that I've noticed in a lot of the pistols, and in no other Call of Duty game has really captured it, as well as Call of Duty 4, I love the Call of Duty 4 Deagle. Modern Warfare 2's Deagle sucked. Call of Duty um, Black Ops didn't really have a Deagle type pistol to it. All the pistols were pretty weak and the Magnum was pretty cool but it only had six bullets and uh, I really hope that they can bring back a pistol that will be like that gun and I, I will love that. Anyway. Alright, now we have another Modern Warfare veteran coming back to the series it seems and a Darth Empire favorite and it looks like the Barret is coming back which I think that everyone here at the Darth Empire pretty much loves this gun and are excited for it to come back. I'm looking at it and I just, I can't really tell. It does look different to me, but I just cannot put my finger on what looks different. Maybe it looks a little flatter in the scope, maybe a little bit longer or bigger. I'm not exactly sure. Um, not a whole much to talk about. The Barrett, I think everyone loves it and we'll just move on. <laughs> Okay, up next, and this one here got me a little bit sad seeing this one in all these pictures, and it is the M320 grenade launcher, which um, I think in Black Ops they got a really good balance on the grenade launchers. Modern Warfare 2 was really horrible, and that's what really ruined this game, and I really hope to not see this game drugged down by some of the old problems of the series. Now, the Modern Warfare series never had flat jacket which I feel like saved Black Ops from being a noob tube heavy game so I, I'm really anxious to see exactly what they're gonna do with this this is not only just standalone noob tube I guess it is also the attachment that will go on your gun and take note on the gun that it does have three attachment it has a noob tube a silencer and a sight so I don't know possibly three three attachments on a single gun I hope not but uh I don't know it could be cool I don't know we will see. Okay, coming up last, we have the M4 with the dual scope. And from my understanding on the dual scope, I think it basically you can change from one scope to the other, and one is just a red dot, and the other one has a little bit of a, is an ACOG with magnification. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure, and I couldn't really find anything on Google about it. So if I'm wrong, go ahead and clarify in the comments. I don't want to get no wrong information out there. And I want to also clarify that I am not really an expert by any means on any of this stuff, so I'm not really 100% sure on any of the information. If I am wrong, feel free to message me or comment the things that I got wrong in the video, and I will make sure that uh, 
that the right information gets out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'm out.